So today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Congress Rental Managing Director, Jeremy Ducklin. Welcome, Jeremy. Thank you very much. So Congress Rental is a digital equipment supplier uh, specializing in simultaneous interpretation equipment for major conferences, meetings, and other large events. Yeah. Uh, so to start, Jeremy, for an organization that hasn't worked with Congress Rental before, what are your key products and offerings? Okay. So what we what we do, what we do is interpretation equipment um, we've um, done that since um, 2000 I bought the business in 2000 and uh, languages interpretation and conference microphones we then integrate uh, dome cameras with that to create a complete solution for conferences and events um, we've uh, we also do some voting and we do some other peripheral things. Um, but one of the key things over the last couple of years has been remote interpretation, whereby we've um, built up quite a portfolio of remote interpretation events, so that um, which has been quite useful in this in this sort of current crisis. Um, previously, we've done G20 type events. Uh, we did the G20 in Brisbane. We did APEC uh, last year in Papua New Guinea. And uh, we do most of the ASEAN leaders events throughout Asia as well. So, so we've got quite a few, quite a bit of credential in that meetings industry uh, space. But the dilemma came when in March, uh, everything, everything collapsed and uh, there's no more visitors, no more, nobody's, come, nobody's coming to Australia anymore. Uh, so we had to do a pivot. So um, our pivot sort of was, was a move towards uh, thermal imaging cameras so that we could do something for the... Uh, for the crisis that was happening, both for the events industry and also for ourselves. Right. And um, so how does your new temperature screening technology work? So I understand that you're um, kind of debuting a sort of new sort of technology at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, key the key essence of what, what it is we've got is a, a black body. This is a temperature reference uh, um, icon that you can see in the top right hand corner of that picture. This makes sure that you get the temperature absolutely accurate for the, for the people that are coming past. The, um, the, the accuracy is the most important thing because if, if you can't measure it um, to say plus or minus 0.3 degrees, then it's not accurate enough to be used uh, for the purposes of uh, fever detection. So um, the, the key elements of the, of the product are that people can just walk past and there's no interruption. So they just keep streaming past the, uh, past the camera. And uh, if someone's over temperature, comes past who's over temperature, then uh, they, it, it, it sets an alarm and an operator can pull them aside and let them cool down. Maybe they've just come in out of the hot sun or maybe they've actually got a, got a temperature. But um, our view is that there would be, that if someone has a ticket to an event and they really want to go to the event, then probably they're still going to go, even though they know they shouldn't. They've paid they've paid hundred to ticket hundred dollars to go and see this great sporting events, the first one of the year. And they go, oh, I'm a bit sick, but I'll go anyway. It's, I probably haven't. I probably, it's probably not a problem. So this is the, the idea of this solution is to try and capture those people and, and pull them aside so they don't infect other people. It's not the only solution, of course. Of course, you've got to do track and uh, track and trace and all of those other things that the government's putting in place. But this is just another layer of security that an event planner or, or, or someone organizing a major event might put in place to protect their, uh, protect their people. Um, yeah. And um, more specifically, could you provide some examples of the locations and settings where the temperature screening technology would be of the most benefit uh, currently? Yeah, yeah. Um, we think hospitals, um, where you've got large volumes, volumes of people going in, uh, events, stadiums and uh, sports venues, office blocks in the city, where you've got to get your people in and out. You don't want them queuing outside, queuing outside. TAFEs and universities. In fact, last weekend, um, we, there was an event in New Zealand. Uh, it's like Comic-Con. I don't know whether you're familiar with that particular event. Yeah, but it was yeah, it was actually called Armageddon. And yeah. uh, the uh, temperature, the temperature um, our, our cameras were used there to do exactly the purpose we spoke about a minute ago, to detect anybody who might have a temperature. And it can do it through masks as well. So even if someone's got a mask on, it will still detect, it'll still do the, the temperature checking and, and detection. Right, yeah. Um, and if an organization wanted to engage with Congress Rental, what is the best way? So call us. 
let's have a chat about what let's have a chat about what it is the re what are the requirements are how can we work it out does the client want to uh, buy it do they want to lease it do they want to rent it do they want us to come in and set it up for them do they want to just take it off our hands and and just just use it so let's have a chat about how how, how someone might want to use it we're in singapore we're in australia we're in new zealand um we'll we'll support anybody wherever they are so yeah be, be, i'd love to hear from anyone perfect well um, unless you have anything else to add, Jeremy, um, that would conclude our 10 minute IT jam. Okay, thank you very uh, much. Yeah, so um, that was Congress Rentals Managing Director, Jeremy Ducklin. Thank you so much for coming today, Jeremy. No problem, thank you.